Hi there YouTube and thanks very much for joining me again. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at that server cabinet and I've already started putting some gear in it. So after the break what we're going to do is we are going to install a few more of these which are brushed panels. So there we are, we're going to be installing a few of those into our server cabinet and we're going to have a little look and see what we've got in there. So that's coming up just after the intro. Be strong. Be strong. Okay, so here's the cabinet. This is what I've got so far. And what we'll do is I'm going to talk you through each of the devices. Let's see if we can zoom out a little bit. That's about right. There's more to go in, but let's just have a look now and see what we've got. And then what we'll do is we'll get these brushed patch panels, brushed panels fitted. So at the very top here, we have our Cisco 5508 firewall. Underneath this one here is a Cisco 1841 router. So is that one, so is this one, and so is that. So at the moment we have four in there, and we're going to be going for a total of six. And I've already started to run the power in there as well, so I have all that left to do. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn our attention to the front of the unit, uh, well, the front of the comms cabinet. We're going to have a quick look at that and we're going to get these uh, panels fitted. So here's the front. With at the top here we have our firewall. In fact, no, let's start from the very, the very top. We have a neon lamp, two banks of power switches. Then we have um, in here, which is our brushed panel. Uh, that's for our cable tidies. Then we have our firewall, another brush panel, router, and then in between these spaces here, we've now got to go ahead and fit these panels. So without further ado, let's get on with that. Okay, so I have one panel here. Let's get it fitted. You just simply drop into place like so and then just get screwed in. And the final screw for that panel. Okay, now for the next one. And we essentially just have to repeat that. See if we can get the light on this, actually. Uh, no, I can't turn a lamp on. So we'll just have to make do. Put it in the box. Take the next one out of its sleeve. Get that fitted.
two, three, four, and one more to do. So what we'll do, this one out of the box, dump the box, dump the wrapper, Okay, and that has managed to install those. So that's all five of them installed that I needed to do. Now what we need to do is start getting our console cables ready. So let's zoom in and have a look at that. So console cables, they go on one on the firewall and then one on each of the routers. So without further ado, let's make it happen. there we are. Now all that's left to do is essentially um, tidy up the cabling and then get it all pretty much all ready to go. So if we just have a look. It's all down in there to do yet. All there and all of that lot. And of course if we move over, get a look on the inside, all of this to be done. So it's work in progress, we're still getting there. We are still getting there. Wish this phone would stay put as well. There we are. So what we will need to do, start feeding these through one by one
And with that, we should end up now with something that looks like that, much neater. And then obviously we just have to cable manage all of the inside at the back and then link them up to our corresponding switches up on this panel here. But for now, YouTube, I think that is just about it. So we can proceed to close out. So there we are, YouTube. I hope that you like that one. That was just a short video on installing those brushed panels. Uh, do stay tuned for more. Uh, like, comment, share and subscribe as always. And I thank you, dear viewer, for being a part of the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. But for now, all of my best wishes and take care and I'll see you soon.